Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Bruce, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother, I you're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Ready? Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom and Tommy O'Brien. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF. And let's make it a great weekend, folks. Now, we're going to, this is, we do, we do four agreements, okay? To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. It's the That's right. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 740. That's right. I love it. Good boy. NASDAQ up 153, S&P's up 68 gold. Gold contract down at $28.70 at 1966 an ounce. We have silver down 45 cents uh, of uh, 27 show? cents. We're going to show. You're doing the show at $23.71. Light sweet crude. Light sweet crude up a buck 58. $71.68 a barrel. Notes and bonds. That's right. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 28 ticks at 113.27. The 30 year off 29 at 127.30 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading. <laughs> Up, good boy. Up for 446. We got a tiger here, folks. At 104066. The euro is at 107. The yen is at a price point of uh, 139. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. You wouldn't believe it, folks. It's so cool. So picture, Tommy Tommy brings Tommy into the office, and he knows that we, we have a couple floors here. We actually have three floors. But anyway, he, he brings him in, and he, and he says, okay, let's go down. we got to do the show, literally, okay? So it's so cool. It's amazing. That's right. Can we do a growl for them? Do a growl for them. Another one. Another one. Oh, that's a little one. Big one. Wow. Wow, good boy. Okay, so S&Ps. I mean, you know, you talk about Tim Ward. You know, we're doing the workshop next week, folks. I mean, this is about, this is a total break topside, man. <laughs> I mean, this is like, you know, we were talking about the swing point yesterday, but when you have six and a half dollars in one day, uh, it's pretty amazing. And, you know, now you're right next to the swing. The swing we're talking about is at uh, 431. And, you know, yesterday it seemed like a long way off. Well, guess what? You're up six and a half dollars right now. You're right next to it. So this is going to coincide with the end of window dressing. So we'll see where that shakes out. Now, what it's also going to do is that this is where we broke downtown. So this is going to be a crucial area. It's going to be a crucial area, Tom, to get through. What will happen, which is... Under the tunnel. Under, under the tunnel. Under the tunnel. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Oh, good boy. So when we take a look at the... Oh, you did that. Good. I just shut the door. Shut the door. Okay, it's shut. So when we take a look at the queues, the queues there, they, they're at they're 371 that they were looking at. And, you know, yes, it's, that seems like a far away today, but guess what? All it's going to take is a cup. 
a good boy. A couple good days, and then good boy. And then you're gonna see that 371 area. Gold, gold contract. We take a look at the gold. No, we can't do that one, Tom. Oh, look at that. That's a good shot you got. <laughs> That's a good shot. Okay, let's take a look at the the gold contract. So we take a look at the gold contract. So this is down on volume today, and you know, it, it's an ABC down, folks, okay? 1903 is the number, and you know, bottom line is that you can see, you know, yesterday you go up with uh, 177,000 contracts, today you're down with 198,000, and this wants to get back to its strength. Just one second, pal, sorry. And the strength that we're talking about inside this contract is right where it took off from the beginning. That, that's where this sets up. In fact, it's, it, you know, this is pretty cool. Here, watch this. It, it actually sets off, sets up at the top of the strength. You know, so I expect we're going to get there. Now, good old the King Dollar, you know. King Dollar, yeah, you, you are on the show. You are, are you, hey, I think you're on the Tom O'Brien show. I think your name's Tom O'Brien, too. <laughs> you can see what King Dollar did. King dollar bottom line is rejected lower price today at 103, 382, and wants higher price. You know, um, so volume wise out here, let's see what we're gonna do. What we're gonna come in with on the indices right now. This is big volume, folks. Okay, well, it's not that big actually. 532 million on the NYSE, and if we take a look at the composite. I don't open the door. Okay. There we go. How about that? Is that good? I'm open. Okay. Here we go. I'm just shut. Oh, good boy. I want to. Yeah. See this composite. Well, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. Yeah, we'll probably do about four billion shares. That's what we'll probably do. Hey, can you can you can you tell the audience? I want to show them how you can count. One, two, three. Two. Oh, he's two. Four, Five. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, zero. No, eleven. Go ahead. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Good boy, 22. come on. Yep. Yeah. What's after 22? 24. No, you gotta do the next one. Five. Good boy. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Forty-nine. Forty. Forty. What's after forty? Forty-one. Forty-one. How's that, folks? Yeah, yeah. You got uh, twenty-four. What? He's twenty-seven months old. He can. I'm not sure. What do you think? Out up to twenty? Sixty? I think he can count up to sixty, folks. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the. That one, needless to say, you know what's so funny, folks? Picture this. His ABCs in school, one of the targets said that. His ABCs are going to be A to B equals C to D. <laughs> We're coming right back. <laughs> We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, 
dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted. Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 731. The Nasdaq's up 150. S&Ps are up uh, 67. And, uh, yeah, listen, there's no doubt this is quite a rally, man. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I, I think what it's really – well, here, let's look at the IWM first. The IWM, I mean, this is a late bloomer, but the bottom line is that it just took out the whole consolidation. The last one to do it, but as you're taking it out on volume, you can see that 37 million shares traded today. That's on the daily. And you go to the weekly – not bad. Nothing heavy, really. It's the weekly be a little less, but it, it took out that consolidation. That's a long consolidation. So you got one, two, three, four. Yeah, you almost got a, a three-month consolidation. So that's, a, that's also going to go to the next swing point. Now, the real kicker here, which is going to get interesting, is that is this about, you know, the aspect of that inflation is heat? Well, we know inflation has been here, for folks, right? So I'm trying to figure out right now, has the market sensed first that, yes, that the, the rate, basically we've already topped out in the rates, and we're just getting numbers that are inflated, because that's what ends up happening in inflation, you know. You, know, you, can, you can get higher numbers, but you can't buy as much, okay? And the way this market's moving, that's kind of like where my head's going with this, okay? Because this is a, this is a powerful rally. There's no two ways about it, man, you know. So we'll see if that's how this thing shakes out. But I think that's how, I think the market is the first one that's indicating that, guess what? You know, inflation is still going to be here. They're going to back down on the rates a bit. And if you go back even, you know, eight months, a year, I was talking about this before, because I was used to this before, even in the real estate market. And this is where this gets really intriguing, because normally it takes about, you know, a year, kind of where we're at. This work a year and a half into this for folks to really understand that, yes, we're going to be, we are at a higher level. So even though it smooths out, you're at a higher level. And what ends up happening is that everything does cost more. 
So what happens in the real estate market, as soon as you back off a half a percent, a percent, it just explodes again. That's exactly what happened in the 70s. I went through it with you before. I mean, it exploded, okay? It exploded because of the fact that everyone stopped realizing. It took people so long to realize that you can't replace, never mind about selling, never mind about how many uh, mortgages are out there that people don't want to sell the house because they're, you know, they have mortgages from three to four percent. The realization comes that you can't replace the house period because of the cost of materials plus the cost of labor. So we'll see where it shakes out. Inside the Dow Industrials today, we take a look at it. Now this is this is how convoluted the market is. You got Caterpillar putting 120 points in, but it's it's about 3M. 3M's putting 53 points in. I'll go over this in a second. But fifth, Caterpillar's a leader, 120 points. 3M 53, Home Depot 46, United Health 46. The only one that is. Um, and the negative is Verizon putting uh, take eight, eight points in Salesforce. And the reason I was just saying this about 3M is that 3M, I, at least this is where the market always loves it when they know, you know what the number is. And it looks like 3M, they struck a tentative agreement um, for their forever chemicals, um, and it's going to be $10 billion. And I guess, you know, $10 billion, you know, bottom line is that... Uh, yeah, this is out of this is out of South Carolina and Charleston. Both, yeah, Charleston, South Carolina. That's where the suit is. And let's see, ten billion is probably nothing to them. And that's what they look. That's what the markets look. Yeah. So, well, ten billion is a lot of money. Not real. Well, not really. Ten. They they take in thirty two billion a year. They make eight fifty eight a b a year. Let me see. Eight dollars and fifty eight cents. And they have uh, 558, 51 million shares. So yeah, that 10 billion is not the end of the world. But that's where that's where you're seeing 3M in that context of you know talk about coming off the low. Look at that. Look at how that baby come off the low. That's actually that's that's pretty incredible. Yeah, is a parking ticket. <laughs> One of our targets saying 10 billion um, is a parking ticket. It probably is. That's that's pretty amazing actually. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities that we have out here. Well, no, let's go inside the NDX first and see what's still driving the NDX up here. So inside the NDX, Lululemon, Zscaler, Zululemon eight, up 12%, Zscaler 5%, Datadog 4.3, and Airbnb 4.6. Taken away from it, T-Mobile 7.5, CrowdStrike 4.2, Sirius Satellite 3.1, and Marvell Technology. Uh, we take a look at the highest volume equities out here, and Tesla. Tesla's on the move. That, that's you know now Elon Musk is the richest man in the world again. That's up another seven dollars. We have uh, Sentinel One is down seven. Yeah, the let's see this. You got Nvidia is up off four. T-Mobile's down 10. Look at these. These phone companies are getting killed. I, mean, I know you've heard this a million times out here today on TFNN. Uh, you're going to hear it on, on every place because it looks like the, the aspect that uh, Amazon wants to get in that phone business. Um, and you can imagine, you know, if in fact that happens for the Prime members. They're talking about a phone service at 10 bucks for, for Prime members. And uh, there's no doubt that what ends up happening in, in the phone business which is pretty wild, is that you get the aspect of the amount of information <laughs> that the company gets is astronomical. Now, if you look at, now this is where it's going to get interesting. So watch this, because if you look at Ma Bell, Ma Bell, you know, I'd let it test these lows first, but it looks to me, last time we were down here, you had 339 million shares. We just rejected lower price on a weekly. Oh no, hold it! It's too. It's a. You, we got to remember this week, folks. Okay, so when you're doing the volumes for the week, you got to remember this is a holiday week. It's a four-day week. So the bottom line is you got to add one day of trading. And the way that I do it, I just take the four days, divide it by four, add, you know, whatever that one day is to the to the total, and that's going to get you what the totals actually are. And so if we did this one. 
it's still gonna be it's still gonna be shot by like uh, 50 million, you know. So these things might be coming into a into a low, you know. We'll, we'll see how that shakes out, but they very well might be. Uh, silver. Let's go take a look at the silver market out here because when it happened, you know, gold was in that is in that confirmed ABC structure down. Where silver is a different different animal, you know. So silver couldn't hold price today. You know, that's saying this wants to go lower, too. This is going to be so intriguing in the metals market in general, um, you know, because you can see that the equities market is not stopping the equities market. This dollar, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like we're caring where the dollar goes at this particular point. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 712. NASDAQ up 141. S&P's up 64. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. To Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 701. You get the NASDAQ up 136. S&Ps are up 63. So check this out, folks, okay? This is pretty wild, actually. This is a chart of the CBOE. Okay, and you can see, bottom line, this thing is almost at all-time highs, right? You know, we, if we take a look at it, you're going to see that the the high is 140, the low is 106. You're at 136. Okay, revenue. Take a look at the revenue here. You're going to see, bottom line is that you've jumped from 
1.7 last year to 1.9, and they're looking at 2 billion next year. Now you can see the option revenue over here. They, so they do, you know, they're in Europe, but the, the bottom line is option revenue, 983 million. Well, what this is all about, this is all about zero to expiration options, folks, okay? Now I want to show you something else. So that's the CBOE. Now let's go to the CME. Now the CBOE was much smaller than the CME. And they they still are, I believe, that yeah, five billion. But they don't the CME has a different chart and doesn't have the growth aspects as the, as the CBOE because of these zero day options. Now, this is what's going on. So check this out. This is gonna be amazing. Wow, this is gonna shake out. What's gonna happen is that, let me get this story here. You're gonna be trading the Euro. Here we go. Okay, so trading stock options that expire within 24 hours has taken the US by storm, that's for sure. Exchange operator Eurex is introducing the Euro 50 contracts that can expire any weekday. So what you're gonna see there is that this is gonna start in Europe, and Europe, folks, has always been a huge amount of futures traders. This is gonna explode in the, in, the, in the market. And, you know, this whole deal, um, I'm not sure what happens over in Europe, but in the United States, this is, you know, a monster deal that's gonna keep getting bigger, you know? Uh, the reason being, so you get two different things that has ha have happened in the option market. You still pay 65 cents a contract, okay? But that's all you pay. And that's why the CBOE chart is at highs, okay? Because the amount of contracts, the, the amount of contracts inside the S&P and the options that expire the same day are now 40%, 4-0 of all derivatives that are traded. And, you know, if you haven't traded them, I'm not, you know, just don't go out and trade them. We're going to be talking a little more about this because I'm thinking I'm going to actually, between me and Tommy, we're going to, we're going to do a, a workshop on this because if you trade, these are pretty cool to trade. They're particularly cool if you really understand the option market, you're trading spreads. So you're still not buying a put and selling a call. If you're trading spreads, it's a whole different ball game. And then you, what you want to understand is that 10 S&P points, at this particular point, equals one point in the SPY. There's a, there's, a, there's a few things that you really want to understand how these work and in the context of, you know, when you're coming into the close, uh, how much you actually have in your account so that they don't basically sell you out. There's a few different things in there, but they're great to trade. That's the real bottom line. Let's go take a look at uh, Peloton for a couple of the tigers out here. So. We take a look at Peloton. Peloton, the lowest 662, the high 1783. Next time they come out with earnings is on the in August. So now the real question is, is that is it off the bottom, right? That's what I think we're probably talking about here. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be buying Peloton. You know, you get something like this, you need a real sign of strength. I mean, I'd want to see Peloton really over the $17 level. You know, I mean, I, I, I can understand why you try to get in it, you know. Or if you did get in it, that yeah, can, it, can it trade to, yeah, this could be a good trade. It could go to 12. The first place is 12, you know, from where we are right now. And what you just have to make sure of is that before you, earnings are coming in, earnings are coming in on the 25th, that's where, you, you know, you want to make sure that, okay, man, um, you don't want to be in that when earnings come in, that's for sure. Let's go to uh, Mike in Niagara Falls. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hi, thanks for taking my call. I want to look at Uber. Okay, let's take and a look. Particularly, at I want you to look at the Bloomberg Terminal. Look at the earnings profile. Their, their forecast for the next uh, four quarters. So I think that this company may be turning around. It may be maturing into a profitable company. Yeah, let's take a look. So... It's uh, Uber, the low for the year is 19, the high is 40. If we take a look at the revenue and earnings per share, you, yeah. they plan on coming in. Yeah, they're taking in, look at this. This is, this is pretty amazing. Right now, folks, they're going to take in $37.6 billion this year. And okay. they plan on losing one-tenth 
No, one one hundredth of a penny. How's that? How, 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 do you, how do you even project that? That's even funny. Yes, Mike, next year they plan on making money. 89 cents. And next year they plan on taking yeah, 44 look at that, okay. billion in. Slowly. Um, okay, so your for, what's their forecast there? Show me. 2023. The, yeah, yeah, one second. Quarter, it's it's going to grow. Yeah, oh, it's growing by leaps and bounds. I mean, it's, you know, it's still, uh, you got to, you're growing by 10% a year. And the United States, you're growing by... 13% a year in other countries. Uh -huh. uh, mobile okay. is still 14 billion, deliveries 10 billion, freight, I don't know, the freight business, I guess that's 6 billion. So where would you, where would you enter this here? I mean, so, on, uh, obviously on a pullback, right? It's, it's overvalued right now, but where would you look to, to enter or scale in? Oh, so this ain't bad. Okay, so let's take a look. So, yeah, see, this is coming up to ice. I mean, so you've had one, two. This is this is a good looking chart, man. You have, you have three yeah. step ups. If you have any type of pullback, Mike, that you can get anywhere close, to, it's only a couple dollars lower, and I'd go, man. This is saying this thing wants to go. Really? Yeah. You That's, have any projections? Just looking at the chart. Not really, because what 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 happens is this. This is coming. It's it's out of place right now. Like. Well, it's actually over it. Yeah. I mean, this is saying that, you know, well, it's only four points higher, but 43 is game. 43 gets you in the next trading range. That's how this works. Yeah, let me put this on a monthly. One second. So on the monthly, it has volume two. Well, let's see this. Six, mm -hmm. six. Okay, hold it. This is an ABC up. This is a... Uh, yeah. 37, 23, so you get 14, that's 43. Yeah, we're, we're almost there. So you can wait for a pullback. The ABC up is 43. Uh -huh. and it's a confirmed ABC up on a monthly, 40. which is always nice. Do you know what I mean? And down from what would you look, 24? No, it's not going to go crash, there. Maybe no. 14? No, I, I, don't, I don't think this is going to – the way this market is and the way that – you got a confirmed ABC up in a monthly. I don't. I don't see that happening. I just don't see it. This Any panic selling? You jump in, huh? With both hands? Uh, you, know, you don't have to jump in with both hands, but yes, it's a. It's a. It's an equity that wants four points higher where it is now. So if it pulls back three, then you get seven points, and then that would be saying you get a ten percent move on a you know a thirty-five dollar stock. Cooking. Right. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow Industrials are up 709, Nasdaq's up 140, S&P's up 64. Stay right there, folks, and come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial is up 714, NASDAQ's up 146, S&P's are up 65. And I'm going to go back to the small caps for a second because what happens, folks, is that the small caps were the last two get going in the last rally we have it looks like they're going to be the last once again to get going into this rally and you know when you when you set this up i mean what ends up happening is that technically what you can do is this you know you can take the highs of the consolidation this is the iwm you can take the highs of the consolidation which is that one let's say 80 179 and take the lows approximately 170 so that's 10 bucks so you're talking about, uh, what did I say, 180, so 190, where's 190? Yeah, 190 here, check it out. 190 is the next swing up here. Now that gets intriguing because, yes, it's the same setup. It's the same setup actually where the S&Ps want to go. But let me look at this for a second. Let me put this on a larger one. Yeah, see on a larger one, what's going to happen, then it comes up to that next level. But that's saying that it wants to go. And let's just go to the banking sector for a second, take a look at it, because the banking sector is what took that south in a monster way. And even the banking sector today, look at this, KKRE, oh my God. <laughs> that's taking a swing out on volume. You're at 42.38, 42.09 was the swing. You needed uh, 30 million shares, and right now we get 29 million. So that baby is also doing the same thing. That's saying that's going to uh, basically take that out and get to higher price. We go to, uh, let's see what Microsoft is doing. It seems that the, there's no doubt that you have this situation. Microsoft's up 280. Am let's go to Amazon because Amazon, Amazon's done two different things in the last week. What they did is that they cut approximately 25 projects that they were working on. So that means that their expenses are going to go down. And then, of course, the, the rumor is out there. And, and, and by the way, Amazon denied this left and right, folks, okay? You know, that they're basically looking to get in the phone business. Their statement is that, nope, this is, that isn't happening. You know, the head of the, that department said, nope, it's not happening. But, you know, I wouldn't believe that for a second. <laughs> they just want to make sure that if something gets done, okay, they, you know, they get it done before the fact. If we take a look at Amazon on the monthly... Yeah, it's still, still, this is really still a dead cat bounce. That's that's how this is set up. Uh, the next thing we're going to hear about once again. And this is getting intriguing because the next thing you're going to hear about shipment-wise, folks, is on the West Coast again. Let me see this here. The West Coast, they are having some problems at the ports, and I'm not sure whether it's the uh, the longshoremen or just just congestion. Um. There's no doubt that the, the shipping rate has gone down dramatically. Um, I'll bring the Baltic index up right now. What do you see this? So we bring this over. Where'd you go? There it is. So what do you see this chart? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, look at this chart. So let me just explain something to you, all right? Up here, at the very top, versus right here where we are right now, this, just this, yeah, let me put this here so you can see the amount of money. Okay, that green line, right? At the top of this line, to get a container from Shanghai to, doesn't matter, LA, well, specifically, to get a container from Shanghai to Tampa, 14,500. Right here, Shanghai to Tampa, 2250. Exact same container. That's, that's the difference in rates right now. And it doesn't look like it's gonna stop. I mean, we might go all the way back down here. The least expensive I've ever seen them, I think we we're about 995. Believe that I know. Isn't that that that, that sounds insane, right? <laughs> but that's that's what's going on. It, what that means specifically is that there's still less goods that are coming out and coming to the United States. You know, uh, it was Lululemon when they came out with their numbers this morning. Now this this is intriguing because they were talking about the even their air freight has gone down dramatically, and they were talking about that inside of their gains, that was one of the main reasons why they basically made so much money. And look at this thing, man. I mean, you talk about gap and higher. That's up 38 bucks. And I mean, they, they have a niche that's unbelievable. And, you know, it doesn't look like to me it's going away. If you go, you know, into any major city, it seems like, you know, every woman in the world is wearing, you know, black Lululemon with black tops. That's, you know, and they have more than that, but that, those two are the iconic, you know, $116 a piece setup. You know, the, the bottoms are 116, 117, and everyone wants them, and I bet they cost them like 10 bucks. <laughs> I mean, it, it's insane. It's unbelievable. Okay, so let's get into this gold market and see where we're at. We get the GDX. That gives it up. Now, what's going to happen here on a weekly? Well, it's not bad looking, actually. It's not that bad looking. On the weekly, on the weekly it's saying, yeah, it didn't hold price, but you had some volume there. You can see what, what, what's, what's holding it up was that price point of 3102, and we hit the 3016. That's not that bad looking, actually. The GLD, so that's saying that, you know, they're really not dumping those gold stocks uh, at this particular point. The GLD, that's seven million on the way down. That has volume coming out of it today. There's no doubt about that. Um, Newmont, you know, Newmont is taking over Newcrest. This, this equity, you know, had a huge problem, was really weak. Then what ended up happening is that it got strong and then all of a sudden it just gave it up in spades, man which is unbelievable, you know, because Newmont right now is at the, you know, this is, the pandemic lows in Newmont is 33, we're at 4190, so this is pretty dangerous, man. And this is no doubt the largest gold company in the world right now. So we go to, let's go take a look at, Barrick, yeah, see, Barrick's the same way, man. Barrick looks better than Newmont. There's no doubt about that. But this is this is serious business. Yeah, this this looks a lot better than Newmont actually. And then AEM, a Nico Eagle. Same thing. That's just that's a retracement. But that that a Nico Eagle has high volume lows that are going to get retested at the forty nine eighty eight. You want to keep an eye on these because. My take, folks, is that what we're going to do, yes, we're going to back down a little bit more, but this is going to be one of these big buys that are really going to be able to make you some real bread. Dow up 683, NASDAQ up 137, S&P's up 61. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Yeah. Welcome back, folks. Tom and Tommy O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow up 715, Nasdaq's up 142, S&P's up 63. So, Tom... Tommy, what, 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 kind of, what kind of dinosaurs are these? Dinosaurs. And what kind are they? Do you know, try, what's, what's, what's one of them? What's the one with the three big things? He knows them better than I do, folks. T-Rex. T-Rex T -Rex is one big one. What other one? What other kind? Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. What other one? What's the one with T? Uh, Triceri no. Triceratop? It's right there. Can you say Triceratop? Triceratop. Good boy. And, and what other? The, the, That's a Triceratop. That's a Triceratop. I don't Triceratop. Isn't that cool? I oh, don't There he is right there. Is he good? How's that, huh? Cool. Yeah, I know. So. Tommy, where's where, where's where's the where's the market gonna go? To the moon? Does the market go to the moon? <laughs> that means we're getting a pullback, folks. Is the market gonna go to the moon? Market going to the moon. Market going to the moon. <laughs> market going to the moon. I'm telling you. I know exactly. So, folks, let, let's go look at this again. So they they're going after the highs. And listen, it's swing by swing. And don't forget, uh, folks, Tim Ord, 
you know, I mean, he nailed this thing. He's going to be, if you want to understand what he's looking at and what he looks at in the marketplace, get over to our website at TF Finance. It's going to be a phenomenal workshop. And, you know, you can see these, you know, on the, on the S&P, the bottom line is that, as I said, it looked like that 431 was a long way off. Well, guess what? Right now, it's only three points off. And, you know, it's going for it, man. And the NDX 100, same setup, the, N the NDX. And, you know, we'll see, um, you know, the IWM, that, that took off. That, okay, now we end the show, ready? Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. And watch this. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show. Say bye. Say bye to everyone. Say bye. Wave. Wave. Wave to them.